Dr. Clinton E. Owensby, professor of rangeland management in the Department of Agronomy at Kansas State University, is well qualified to receive the Society for Range Management's Sustained Lifetime Achievement Award. Dr. Owensby has been a member of SRM for nearly 60 years. He started teaching courses at Kansas State in 1967 as an instructor, received his Ph.D. in 1969, and has now helped educate over 6,000 students in the art and science of range management. Dr. Owensby has been the major advisor to 16 master's students and four Ph.D. students. In addition, Dr. Owensby continues to contribute to an outstanding research career. His research on intensive early stocking and prescribed burning have contributed greatly to economic returns for Kansas ranchers. Dr. Owensby's expertise in prescribed burning has resulted in numerous consulting opportunities, including an Oscar award-winning movie. He studies carbon allocation, photosynthesis, and root exudation in range grasses, and nitrogen cycling associated with fire and tall grass prairie. Today, he is still actively involved in grazing system research. The Society for Range Management is pleased to present Dr. Clinton Owensby with a Sustained Lifetime Achievement Award. The Society for Range Management has had many outstanding individuals and heroes during its years as the professional society for range persons worldwide. Dr. Tamsin K. Stringham clearly stands out as a member of this distinguished assembly. Male or female, contemporary or earlier, Dr. Stringham stands shoulder to shoulder with these giants. Dr. Stringham is a world-class researcher, a mentor to both graduate and undergraduate students, a terrific educator, an extension educator, and technical speaker, and she has set the standard for ongoing research in the arenas of state and transition ecology, watershed management, and fire ecology. She is a longtime member of the Society for Range Management and holds an endowed chair at the University of Nevada, Reno. The Society for Range Management is honored to present Dr. Tamsin Stringham with a Sustained Lifetime Achievement Award. Dr. John Bates has made tremendous contributions to our understanding and management of northern Great Basin rangelands. He has focused on the intact sagebrush steppe, areas in need of restoration, and juniper woodlands. His work has included approaches to maintaining good condition rangeland and restoration of areas that are not in good condition and not producing forage or habitat to their full potential. John is just as comfortable running a drip torch or a chainsaw as he is collecting data and publishing articles. His practical knowledge of management practices has made his interaction with managers very productive. He understands the mechanics of management and the science behind the management and works very hard to provide managers with research they can use in making decisions. Dr. Bates has many accomplishments. A few of the more impactful include, one, demonstrated that western juniper removal can increase forage production by five to tenfold, increase biodiversity, and provide sage-grouse habitat. Two, determine that soil erosion and runoff increase dramatically when western juniper invades a site and suppresses the understory grasses and shrubs. Three, showed that moderate grazing does not inhibit post-fire recovery of good condition sagebrush steppe. Four, developed low-impact methods of fuel reduction on cut juniper woodlands. And five, determined that fall-prescribed burning of good condition sagebrush steppe doubled forage production and grass seed production. Our understanding of and ability to manage sagebrush steppe has been dramatically improved by Dr. Bates's efforts. His work applies to the Great Basin directly, but also to shrub steppe and woodlands globally. It is with great honor to present Dr. John Bates with a Society for Range Management's Sustained Lifetime Achievement Award. Dr. Davies' impactful and pioneering work in fire ecology, restoration, grazing, and rangeland plant community management has provided the empirical foundation needed for addressing some of the most daunting management problems facing western rangelands. Dr. Davies has published more than 130 peer-reviewed scientific journal articles and over 70 extension articles, preceding papers, book chapters, and management guides. 
Publication requests have come from 19 countries on six continents demonstrating the international relevance of his work. Dr. Davies has been requested to provide peer reviews for 37 different scientific journals from five continents. Dr. Davies also served as an associate editor for the primary international scientific journal in the rangeland science field, Rangeland Ecology and Management. Dr. Davies has demonstrated outstanding service to the Society for Range Management by serving as the chair-elect and chair of the Wildlife Habitat Committee, chairing numerous symposiums at the national annual meetings and serving on the awards committee prior to being appointed the chair. Dr. Davies has judged graduate student presentations at every SRM national meeting he has attended. He also serves the society by his outreach to students that may not be aware of opportunities in the field of rangeland management. In short, the considerable volume, over 200 publications, and impact of Dr. Davies' research has changed how we conceptualize and operationalize management of sagebrush rangelands, and his leadership in providing timely synthesis of the state of our knowledge is acting as a programmatic playbook for informing management policy and initiatives across the sagebrush biome. The Society for Range Management is pleased to recognize Dr. Kurt Davis with a fellow award. Kevin has made significant contributions to the field of range management during his career as the Extension Rangeland Management Specialist at North Dakota State University. Despite this position's focus, 70% extension and 30% research, one of Kevin's greatest contributions is inspiring and mentoring youth and students interested in range and natural resource management. In 1990, Kevin took leadership of the North Dakota Youth Range Camp. Since that time, he has held 32 camps, organized the North Dakota Range Judging Contest 31 times, and coached the North Dakota teams at 29 National Range Judging Contests. Over the years, Kevin has advised 60 graduate students, including 51 master's students and 9 Ph.D. students. Kevin has built a strong research program, receiving 175 grants and contracts, totaling $21.4 million. This research has resulted in 55 peer-reviewed articles, two books, one book chapter, 27 preceding papers, 97 research reports, and one software analysis tool. One key to the success is Kevin's connections to ranchers and other land managers in the state and region. Kevin's strong ties to ranchers, land managers, and land management agencies is a direct result of an equally strong extension program that prioritizes outreach to these key stakeholders. In his role as the Extension Rangeland Management Specialist, he has delivered over 1,000 presentations, organized 65 workshops for ranchers, participated in 20 webinars, authored 64 extension publications, written 210 popular press articles, given 176 media interviews, developed six extension videos, and is co-developer of the North Dakota Grazing Calculator application. Congratulations to Dr. Kevin Sedovic for being recognized with a 2022 Society for Range Management Fellow Award. Doug Tolison is Associate Professor and Rangeland Scientist at the Texas A&M AgriLife Research Sonora Research Station. Dr. Tolison was an Extension Specialist and Research Scientist at the University of Arizona V-Bar V-Ranch Experiment Station near Camp Verde, Arizona from 2008 to 2016, prior to obtaining his Ph.D. in Rangeland Ecology and Management at Texas A&M University in 2007, he was director of the Grazing Land Animal Nutrition Laboratory in the former TAMU Department of Ecosystem Science and Management. Dr. Tolison conducts research on rangeland vegetation monitoring with which to inform grazing and fire management efforts and employs near-infrared reflectance spectroscopy to study grazing animal nutrition and physiology. Dr. Tolison has contributed in many ways to the rangeland management community and discipline. Through his academic endeavors, Dr. Tolison has authored or co-authored 33 peer-reviewed publications across a broad array of outlets from rangeland and animal science perspectives. He has also authored or co-authored three book chapters and an additional 50-plus peer-reviewed materials and 100-plus abstracts across a broad array of topics. Dr. Tolison also seeks to give back to the next generation of rangeland scientists and managers and has taught four different courses at the undergraduate level and four courses at the graduate level 
between Texas A&M, University of Arizona, and Utah State University. Another significant contribution to the future of the profession is his willingness to direct student interns, providing that all-important experience required to advance in the profession. The Society for Range Management is pleased to recognize Dr. Doug Tolleson with the Outstanding Achievement Award in Research Academia. Dr. Umberto L. Perotto is an active member at the Society for Range Management both at the state and national level. He is currently the second vice president for the Texas section of the society, and he has helped the establishment and organization of the Don Pendleton Memorial Graduate Student Award. He has been an active recruiter for TAM UK and their plant ID team, and he is currently co-advising the plant ID team with Pancho Ortiga. At the national level, Umberto is a member of three committees and has led the International Affairs Committee and the Geospatial Technologies Committee. Dr. Peroto is leading the landscape ecology and drone programs at the Caesar Kleberg Wildlife Research Institute, and he has established in five years a nationally recognized research and education drone program for rangelands and wildlife habitat. His publication record on livestock movement, landscape ecology, drone and remote sensing approaches on invasive species have made a significant contribution to the use of spatial data science in rangelands. His achievements have been recognized locally, statewide, and nationally. His research has received numerous poster and graduate student oral presentation awards. He has authored and co-authored 65 peer-reviewed scientific articles, one book, three book chapters, and over 350 abstracts for posters and oral presentations. Congratulations to Dr. Umberto Peroto for being recognized with a 2022 Society for Range Management Outstanding Achievement Award in Research John grew up on a mixed crop and livestock farm in south central Nebraska where he was active in 4-H and FFA. He graduated from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln in 1984 with a degree in agriculture. After graduation, he started working as a crop consultant with Dr. B.B. Singh near his hometown of Shickley, Nebraska. John worked as a crop consultant for three seasons and then joined the Peace Corps where he worked in eastern Morocco. While in Morocco, he worked on several revegetation and water harvesting projects and started a herbarium. Working on the steppes of eastern Morocco, John became interested in range management. On his return to the United States, he began a master's program with Dr. Lowell Mosier at the University of Nebraska, focusing on growth staging native grass populations. After his graduation from UNL, John started a Ph.D. program with Dr. David Brisk at Texas A&M, evaluating persistence mechanisms in perennial grasses in mesic grasslands. Following his graduation from A&M in 1996, John started a postdoctorate with USDA ARS in Mandan, North Dakota. There he worked with Dr. John Birdall on persistence of grasses and alfalfa undergrazing. From 1998 to 1999, John worked as a rangeland scientist with the U.S. Sheep Experiment Station in Des Moines, Idaho. In 1999, he moved back to Mandan and has worked at the Northern Great Plains Research Laboratory ever since. John's research has encompassed integrated crop livestock systems, targeted grazing, and invasive species, particularly Kentucky bluegrass. It is with great honor to present Dr. John Hendrickson with a Society for Range Management's Outstanding Achievement Award in Land Stewardship. Margie Patz, Ecological Site Specialist for NRCS in Powell, Wyoming, is an exemplary Society for Range Management professional with a positive reputation at the regional and national level. Her passion to further the development of ecological site descriptions is unmatched. Margie is an instrumental member of Wyoming SRM where she has served for over 20 years as council member, president, treasurer, secretary, awards chair, and YRED chair. Margie's kind and selfless personality combined with her skills and knowledge sets her apart from her colleagues. Her work has far-reaching impacts on rangeland stewardship. Margie serves the natural resources community by sharing her extensive knowledge through presentations at professional meetings, organizing and implementing student contests and activities, hosting field days and trainings, leading summer range camps, and guest lecturing at colleges and universities. She is a natural teacher and gives of her time and knowledge freely. In this way, she has influenced the lives and careers of countless rangeland stewards. She has tirelessly developed descriptions in two major land resource areas, MLRAs, while collaborating with the BLM, USFS, 
BIA, BOR, universities, NGOs, and the Wyoming Game and Fish. She serves on the National Ecological Site Training Team, guiding others in the use of ESDs. Margie has hosted several MLRA LRU Tours Regional QA Field Days. She published six interactive ecological site keys, drafted MLRA LRU subset keys for two MLRAs, four LRUs, and 13 subsets. Margie also published 17 ecological sites to approved status, 86 sites to provisional status, and drafted concepts for 79 sites. The Society for Range Management is pleased to recognize Margie Patz with an Outstanding Achievement Award in Land Stewardship. Juan Manuel Martinez Reina was born in Mexico and began his participation in the Society for Range Management while still an undergraduate student. In 1983, he was a member of the first Mexican university team to obtain second place in the Range Plant Identification Contest. Coincidentally, that year meeting was held in Albuquerque, New Mexico. His academic education and professional activities have been related in one way or another to the tasks of this society to which he has proudly belonged for many years. Dr. Martinez has been teaching, advising, and mentoring students at the Universidad Autónoma Agraria Antonio Naro since 1998. Throughout his career, he has developed and taught courses in range plant identification, plant taxonomy, forage and bioenergy crop production, cytogenetics, and plant breeding. The achievements that he has obtained as coach of the range plant identification team of the Antonio Naro University are relevant. In the last 22 years, his team has won first place in this SRM contest 19 times, making it the most winning team in the entire history of this prestigious contest. In 2020, the Range Science Education Council and the Society for Range Management recognized Dr. Martinez Reina with the Outstanding Undergraduate Teaching Award. Congratulations to Dr. Martinez Reina for being recognized with a 2022 Society for Range Management Outstanding Achievement Award in Land Stewardship. Pepe has been a tireless advocate and educator for range management since he chose his career in college. He has constantly strived to learn and be involved in as many range and wildlife areas as possible. He jumped headlong into our profession and has not come up for air since. Once he had experience, Pepe took on the role of educator. His love of sharing his passion for all things range continued as he began work for USDA and RCS, where he continued to coach FFA teams, work with the South Texas Bob White Brigade, and the TSSRM Youth Range Workshop. He is a gifted presenter who connects with youth audiences and engages them through his own passion. He eagerly takes on assignments like speaking to literally hundreds of elementary school students at the East Foundation's Behind the Gates event annually. The ranchers and land stewards of South Texas value and respect Pepe for his technical assistance. Often requested to be on the program at workshops and the Hispanic Farmers and Ranchers Conference, he has the ability to connect and gain the trust of land stewards across South Texas. Pepe's passion for range management does not end when he leaves his office. His extracurricular activities and interests are an extension of his professional ones. He and his wife, Gabby, have recently purchased several hundred acres, so he is busy practicing what he preaches. Pepe is a rising star with unlimited potential, and SRM and TSSRM are incredibly lucky to call him as one of their own. The Society for Range Management is pleased to recognize Jose Pepe de la Luz Martinez Garcia with an Outstanding Young Range Professional Award. Miranda had a love for rangelands and ranching by the age of 13. She participated in numerous range youth camps and represented North Dakota at the SRM High School Youth Forum. Miranda earned her bachelor's degree in animal and range science and her Ph.D. in natural resource management from North Dakota State University and became a leader in managing our rangelands and riparian ecosystems. Miranda's passion to succeed in the field of range and natural resource management led to her current position as the North Dakota State University Extension Livestock Stewardship Specialist. She strives to educate and conduct research that leads to enhancement of our natural resources while improving the lives of farmers and ranchers. She creates programs that are hands-on, applicable, and easy to understand. 
Her development of eight cell phone apps and 43 YouTube videos shows her ability to reach audiences of all ages while still creating traditional educational outlets. Miranda is a recognized leader in range ecology and forage systems, riparian function, environmental stewardship, and range monitoring. She has published 30 peer-reviewed extension circulars, 12 referred journal articles, and 241 popular press articles and media interviews while organizing 57 extension programs and 59 in-service trainings. Finally, Miranda's contributions to SRM occurs at the chapter, section, and society levels. She is a past president of the North Dakota chapter and Northern Great Plains section and served on numerous SRM committees. Miranda has made and will continue to make significant contributions to range management and the Society for Range Management. Congratulations to Dr. Miranda Meehan for being recognized with a 2022 Society for Range Management Outstanding Young Range Professional Award. Andrew Brischke began working for the University of Arizona Cooperative Extension in 2007 as a research specialist, rangeland monitoring. He worked with ranchers and rangeland specialists with the U.S. Forest Service and Bureau of Land Management in southeastern Arizona. During this time, he chose to further his education by earning his master's degree. The coursework that Andrew chose over the next few years was geared towards increasing his knowledge and skills as they applied to his job as a research specialist. His thesis analyzed a massive amount of historical range monitoring data from a ranch and used the data to determine when drought caused a shift in the ecological site using state and transition information. Andrew moved on in his career to become an extension agent in northwestern Arizona. His major programming is in rangeland and livestock management. Andrew was made County Extension Director after being in his position for several years. Since becoming an Extension Agent, Andrew has accomplished the following. Authored, co-authored 12 peer-reviewed publications, 19 peer-reviewed presentations, posters, 16 community presentations, contributed to 8 non-peer-reviewed newsletters and proceedings, and one video on rangeland monitoring brought in just over $1 million in funding to support his programs, and held numerous hands-on workshops focusing on rangeland management and livestock production. Andrew works with agents and specialists in Arizona, as well as other states, on joint programs. Andrew continually expands his knowledge of rangeland management through professional development opportunities. His service to numerous local, state, and national organizations is commendable. The Society for Range Management is pleased to recognize Andrew Brischke with an outstanding Young Range Professional Award. The Society for Range Management is proud to present the Young Professionals Conclave Outstanding Early Career Award to Kaylee Pena. Kaylee's leadership has led efforts to expand YPC outreach and strengthen connections between the parent society and sections, as well as recruit and maintain young professional membership within the organization. Kaylee, a rangeland management specialist in the Salmon Chalice National Forest in Idaho, serves as the chair of the Information and Education Committees of the CalPAC section, as well as maintains several communication outlets for the section. At the parent society level, Kaylee is active on numerous committees, including the Student Activities Committee and the Native American Rangeland Advisory Committee, as well as completing a three-year leadership commitment with YPC. Both in her career and the Society for Range Management, Kaylee goes above and beyond in building relationships, whether she is interacting with livestock producers and land users or other rangeland professionals and students entering the industry. Congratulations to Kaylee Pena for being recognized with a 2022 Society for Range Management YPC Outstanding Early Career Award.